shot, dick. big on the grass-fed meat here in California. Mel's Diner was pretty good. Food was good. Jumping was good. It was good. Now they're snacking on a, what's it called? Ava Zaba. Ava Zaba. Remember those from like the old Very days. Very retro. So, I don't know what we're going to do. Wow, look at that color. Hmm. Oh, look, Chris Marilyn Monroe. So I'm guessing we're gonna go wander over to the Chinese Theater, which is right across the street. All right, so you know how this works with that one there. Shopping. We stopped off across the street from the Dolby Theater at Hollywood Land Souvenirs or whatever like we live in Vegas. We don't have enough souvenirs. I just want to say thank you to everyone who loved me. <laughs> This is where they have all the celebrities in the concrete thing. Who's that? Burt Reynolds. Let's see how big Burt Reynolds' feet are compared to mine. Hmm? Burt Reynolds got some tiny feet. Hey, let's see. Oh, let's do that gay Hollywood shit. My hands are actually bigger than his too. I just can't read that one. Jack Nicholson. Hollywood Boulevard, not too much different than Vegas because all you smell is weed and piss. Weed and piss. Look, there's a joker. He needs to talk to Batman about getting another job or something. Come on. tonight. It's like foggy and sh over there, so we'll have to wait till tomorrow. Oh well. The girls went into the pink store. My ass ain't going in there. I'm sitting out here in the middle of this thing next to the Dolby Theater and the Chinese Theater. It's just like a shopping mall basically is all it is. Nothing too exciting for me anyway girls like that shopping. Chinese theater thing, we'll probably do that again tomorrow because you couldn't see any of the, that's the place where they had the concrete slabs and they put the celebrities hand prints and footprints and all that stuff in there, so maybe we'll go back to that tomorrow. I think I realized this, I'm not a big, I'm not a big guy, I'm five foot eight. 
and maybe 200 pounds, 190, 200 pounds. And a lot of those actors that are supposed to be like big people, my hands are bigger than theirs and my feet are bigger than theirs. What's up with that? You gotta have small feet, small hands to be a famous actor? That's screw it. And the next day. next day it is like 7 10 in the a.m. as you can tell with I guess not you can't it's cloudy first time in California Los Angeles area Hollywood to be exact and it's cloudy as hell so I'm walking down the streets to get some coffee I need some coffee Throat's messed up. Donna's coughing. We're all coughing our asses off. Get the monopod. Try that out for a little bit. And let's go get some goddamn coffee because this is ridiculous. I need some coffee. Alright, so this is where we're staying. Tiny, 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 tiny little hotel. They call it a boutique hotel. Not bad. Beds are not comfortable, hard as a rock. And, uh, yeah, it's cloudy, like I said. It's gloomy. Griffith Observatory today. Going around town and things like that. And then uh, see if we can find some time to go down to Venice, go over to Santa Monica Pier, probably tonight. Oh yeah, the cemetery. There's that little hidden cemetery. Do you remember the name of it? It's like a little tiny hidden cemetery, like dead in the middle of the city, right off Santa Monica, Wilshire Boulevard. It's real small, it's behind like buildings and stuff. And there's like a bunch of Apparently there's a bunch of celebrities that are buried there. I don't know. But I think that closes at like five, so we gotta do that first. So who knows what we'll do. I don't know. Hopefully, the sun comes out. That would be nice. we we'll come to LA and be you all know, cloudy and gloomy and shit. So that's the plan for the day. We'll see how well it goes. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. I don't know. I gotta go upstairs and brush my teeth because I haven't done that yet. I gotta go take a shower. I haven't done that yet. Then we gotta get our shit together and get the hell out of here. Alright, the uh, houses on the side of the mountain there is kind of weird to me. I got one word for that. Earthquakes? The hell? Are you gonna have houses built into the mountains and not worry about earthquakes? So I find it comical and people down here with their selfie sticks and I'm carrying this massive ass thing except for this dude Homeboy's got it going on with the lenses there His is bigger than mine and he's Asian. How the hell's that happen? here at the hotel I figure I'd give you guys a little room tour so you have to not mind the mess obviously because you know I'm a slob and this is what we do so one one of the bedrooms the TV homes inside of a flicking mountain mirror obviously bathroom number one bed little shower another mirror like living quarters with a television over here, another coffee maker. And second bed slash bedroom. And no. Bathroom there too, but 
the girls were in there doing their thing, so, you know, we don't want to disturb, because otherwise it just takes forever. This is pretty weird, having this little cemetery in the middle of the city. It's very indiscreet that what did I say? It's not very visible from the street because all those buildings are in the way. So you have to go in between the buildings there. It's different. So if you can't tell where I am, maybe now you can. Santa Monica Pier. I gotta tell you, I've been playing a lot of GTA 5 lately and driving here. Felt like I was in the game, but I didn't run anybody over or crash into anybody. Because I've literally driven my car on the game up and down this pier, running people over and, you know, the GTA 5, GT5, GTA 5 shit. So I come down here, do the touristy thing, and uh, go potty with, with that face. Look at that face she's like me. Yeah. You don't want to touch anything. <laughs> you don't want to touch anything. Do a lot of hovering. <laughs> okay, that's some information for you ladies. Don't touch, hover. Look, you see, I've driven my car down this thing so many times in the game, it's ridiculous. I could get so many kills right now. What the hell? I need to go see if there's like a Hummer in the parking lot and go steal it. And... No, I'm just kidding. Like fishy. It smells fishy. <laughs> to look at her face. She's like, no. Nah. Oh look, we're doing a model shoot over here. We got something going on with that. I'm not sure what the hell that was. So this is kind of like a Las Vegas strip over the water. No. I mean, it kind of seems like it's like an it's amusement like park. Like the same thing, basically. Well, the strip is an amusement park. We have a big old Ferris wheel. We have a roller coaster. We have the freaks flavoring their arms around like they're trying to fly away. We have all that. We just don't have. The oh yeah, because we also have a. I think the view is about the only thing that's different. Bubba Gump Shrimp. Shrimp. I'm not sure Go see Forrest, Forrest Gump, see if Bubba's there, so, eat some of their food, and flip. then we're gonna do some rides probably, which is a bad idea because we might throw up or something. That's enough for the uh, merry-go-round. We'll come back later. Kira's gonna ride the merry-go-round. But we just got a text message from Forrest Gump. Say, Bo's ready, come eat your shit. All right, I didn't come to Santa Monica Beach not to get on the sand, so.
you, you can't come to Santa Monica Pier and not ride on the big Ferris wheel. So we're on the big Ferris wheel. Look, we're like, oh, there's the roller coaster it just went past us. Holy sh! Look at that view. That is nice. All kinds of water. Oh, beach. Oh. Beach. It's pretty. y'all but that stuff right there makes my ass hurt already we're contemplating this way is Venice Santa Monica piers over there so we're thinking they have those little bikes and you can rent over there they have trikes like ghetto trikes like the long front end three wheels lazy man's bike I'm thinking we might have to get one of those and go to Venice. And just for reference, yes, I am this childish. Decided to stop over here on Venice Beach, Venice Boardwalk, whatever you want to call it. Chilling on the whip, get some ice cream, cause we thug, thug life, yo. I win. Santa Monica Pier, say goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, Santa Monica Pier. Not sure where we're going. Griffith Observatory, I'm guessing. Good morning. How are we doing today? Today is Sunday. We go home today. So last night, went to the Griffith Observatory and uh, failed miserably the parking lot was full there was nowhere to park literally like everybody in la went to the observatory last night i don't know why i don't have a clue so we ended up driving through the mountains came back here we we're gonna go down to hollywood boulevard go get something neat blah 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 we've all been kind of sick and uh ended up taking an accidental like three hour nap <laughs> all of us so I was like eh, whatever so we did a little of that last night went over to Hooters on a Hollywood Boulevard blah 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 nothing worth filming and now we're here in the next day we're gonna try and go to the Griffith Observatory again hopefully we can get there this time then we're gonna go to uh, the Rancho Cucamonga area to some fun center thing. I'm not sure what it is. That's where Dawn grew up, so that's where we're gonna go. We're gonna go sightseeing over there a little bit. And then we're going back to Vegas tonight. So, it is what it is. Let's go to the Griffiths Observatory, get checked out of this hotel, and go from there. Hi.
I'm a complete pain in the ass to get up here. No parking over in that parking lot. So if you want to come here, don't plan on parking up here. I don't know about you, but that's kind of creepy. she wanted to go. Dawn grew up in this area. She knew this was here. It's a fun center. Little carnival and stuff over there. Bumper boats over there. They got batting cages, things like that. So we're going to have a little fun. Some old 3D glasses. This is what Twinkies used to look like. I miss those days. Those were actually pretty good. Water is looking kind of green and fuzzy on the bottom. Don't get me wet or you're grounded. <laughs> so they succeeded in getting me wet, but they also got wet too. Uh, now it's batting cage time. We got helmets. All right! I didn't realize that hitting the damn ball was that tiring since I haven't done it in like probably 20 years. <laughs> oh, it's like there's a little mini carnival over here. And the big go-karts. Which is what we're doing next. Big go-karts. Let the girls go in front of me. I will not be filming and driving at the same time, so you just have to trust me. So the go-karts would have been more fun if that skinny little kid didn't keep blocking me the whole time. And they were all getting blocked and everything else. So. And you can't ram anybody. Yeah, and you can't crash into people because we'll stop the race early if you crash into someone. Whatever. I should have waited till the last lap and just spun his ass out. It's a laser tag. Laser tag. And it's small. Yeah, the one in Vegas is big. Oh, it goes in the back corner over there. Mm -hmm. I shot second, I was number two player. 34 25, but our team lost by a little bit. We lost by 130 points. Eat over here at Vince's. She said uh, she used to eat here when she was a kid or when she lived here. So that's going to be the end of the vlog. I don't really feel like recording anymore, to be honest with you. So remember, if you like my videos, click the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, tell your friends about it, share the videos, and I will see you in the next one. Peace. Oh.